So hi guys, as you can see here, horsing around, um, down on Camber Sands in East Sussex, uh, two friends of mine, um, Sophie on the right in the red and Emma in the grey. Uh, Sophie wanted to go down on the beach and get some horse photos, so I said yeah of course, she said, but she um, doesn't actually have the transport, so her friend Emma, well, it turns out I actually knew her, so small world. And uh, loads of other horses on the beach as well, was planning on putting the drone up um, to fly near the horses as in to get some aerial footage of them galloping and things like that would have been amazing unfortunately it was very windy um, and lots of horses on the beach lots of people so even though you don't really see that there's loads of people in on the beach and the horses are doing galloping past and other things like that so a bit dangerous and a bit risky to do even think about putting the drone up so we didn't do that at all um, but I did shoot some slow motion video with HFR on the RX10 Mark IV at 250 frames a second or 240 frames a second rather sorry and uh, also the rest of the video is shot at 100 frames per second in 1080p so you can slow that down quite a bit as well um, as you can see here the weather was absolutely banging it was really lovely the um, blue skies nice reflections and uh, it's just a shame it was really windy it was sort of 20 plus mile an hour gusts um, and uh, which wasn't really a problem for the DJI Mavic Air 2 could fly in that but like I say there's lots of people about and um, obviously more horses on the beach than I anticipated seeing um, and the beach is massive it's huge space but you know when these horses can do sort of 40 mile an hour plus past you you know and you can only keep an eye on one or two at a time it could be a bit risky I know the drone would have been up high um, but uh, you know, it's one of those one of those things. So hopefully another time I can get down there with some horses, either these or some others. I know many people who have got horses. So hopefully I can get down there early morning one day and uh, fly the drone on a calm sunrise kind of thing going on, which would be really cool. As you can see here, um, previous clip was at 100 frames per second. This is at 240. Slow down even more a little bit there, just to show you that. The splashing of the water bouncing up and everything like the seagulls just cruising around it's actually quite funny when they were uh, galloping along the beach the other way um, the seagulls were struggling to keep up and you know it's just because of the way the wind was and uh, you know seagulls there look like they're not really doing a lot but they were actually struggling to fly um, especially if they're heading west um, but so that was that was quite amusing to watch uh, also in some of the photos you'll see that some of the uh, seagulls are in the way of the horses um, or flying out of the way of the horses so that's normal speed so they, that was shot at 100 frames per second but I just left it at, at normal speed um, um, what and do you want to do? Uh, Sophie's horse likes going backwards, backwards a lot which is really quite funny Spends more time back just, than she stops and then suddenly just like oh, I'm going to walk backwards now yeah, I'll probably do it again there we go <laughs> um, yeah so I sent them down the beach a little bit uh, sort of the sun end, sunny end and uh, they were going to gallop down through the water here which is only one to two inches deep so you could actually walk through it with your shoes quite happily and in fact I'm actually stood in it um, so they were basically going to walk in and then build up speed and head towards me so I was going to shoot some video which I am now um, just 100 frames per second and slow it down slightly and then some stills and then we shot some more stills um, of them doing different things, so which you'll see shortly. So beautiful evening. Like I say, it was just a shame it was really windy, um, but the light was lovely. The uh, I just didn't expect to see so one so many seagulls around. I I suppose they're just looking for food, um, but we really didn't expect the car park to be absolutely rammed full of people and horses and everything. It was kind of one of those moments, but it's the time of year. Um, so yeah, one of the shots here, um, another one here, them, them galloping towards me, and uh, I mean I've got hundreds of shots, in fact I think I took 2,000 shots in around less than an hour, so brilliance of the RX-10 Mark IVs, you can back right out from 600 back to 24, giving me the option to shoot things like this, um, but absolutely wicked bit of kit, I mean for 1,000 thou grams to hold in weight it's not too bad, but even that was still getting blown about by the wind because um, it was quite a constant blow but then also you'd have an increased gust every now and again which would then obviously um, relax slightly and then you would move due to you can try to counteract the the push of the wind like I say another shooting straight into the sun dynamic range is actually pretty good um, 
not too bad at all. Here's one of the seagulls that was in the way. Um, he took off, he was sort of in the middle. And he's actually behind them by now in this shot. Uh, but yeah, the, the sun behind me and then lit nicely by the sun. Absolutely lovely. The colours of the horses really shining through. And uh, look really lovely. The reflections in the water, really, really pleased. Um, the light was absolutely lovely, I was to say. But it's just, unfortunately, we can't control the weather. So the wind was always going to be a factor. Um, Sophie's horse, absolutely fascinated by the camera. Just kept looking at me all the time as she went, went past. Um, Emma's horse there, completely uh, fine. Just ignores us, which is uh, different. But um, horses are... There we go, looking at this again. Horses can be odd sometimes. They, they're either interested in you or they're not. So um, I've seen that over the years quite a few times. Um, more gallop in there. But just the way the light was, the way the background blurs just enough as well at 600mm f4. Really lovely. Um, and uh, just worked really well. Really, really pleased. Um, next time I might take the A7R4 and use actually the 135 G Master. Uh, wide open at f1.8 to really blur that background out um, because they can come quite close it's not like a wildlife where I have to go to them they can come closer to me which is uh, quite good and I haven't got trouble standing in the water in fact I don't mind even if I waded out a little bit and actually shot into the into the sea kind of thing a little bit further um, shooting into the sun a little bit here a little bit of a silhouette stroke spray going up everywhere which really quite adds to the shot there um, Part silhouette, but part not. Utilising that background there, look worked quite well. Uh, this beautiful horse here, massive, absolutely huge horse, sort of 18 hands ish, I reckon. Um, Shireish um, kind of kind of horse. Uh, Given a bit of a canter across across the beach there, he loved it as well. And, uh, and then we went back to the the horse lorry to obviously load the horses back up, and uh, the seagulls are around, so just a little bit quick slow motion of the seagulls there at 240 frames per second. It's quite interesting how they actually fly and hover as they're coming into land. It just shows you what they actually get up to. Um, it's quite interesting. They were after everyone's chips. It's really funny. Um, and then back down on the beach before we came back up, I was well, the girls were right up the other end of the beach, half a mile away, waiting for them to come back. And um, there was a seagull flew past and I quickly zoomed in on him and uh, carrying a crab. <laughs> um, it obviously just picked out because the water was dripping as you can see there and um, below his beak the water was pouring out so it obviously just picked it up and caught it or whatever so uh, as of obviously it's, it's dinner which was uh, quite funny obviously taking it away somewhere that one of the other thousands of seagulls wasn't going to attack it for it um, so uh, yeah that was uh, quite interesting to see uh, lovely and sharp shot as well very pleased with that and uh, yeah so that was it guys it was just a quick one hour um, down on the beach with the horses snapping a few things um, yeah so don't forget to click the subscribe button little notification bell as well so you know when I stick another video up any questions about the RX10 Mark 4 A7R4 and all the other Sony sort of cameras feel free to ask if you're thinking about buying anything um, I'm happy to help so I shall see you soon